welcome. It's great to be back at CES and so great to see all of you here in Vegas and for all of you who are joining us on the webcast. Are you ready for a good week? Last year, we started here at CES with our first ever keynote, and we told you that 2019 was going to be a phenomenal year, and it really was a phenomenal year. But so much has happened over the last 12 months, and I'm thrilled to be back here today to really talk about 2020 and how excited we are about all of the tech we have coming out in 2020. So let's go ahead and get started. So, some of you may be new to AMD, and when you think about AMD, I want you to think about one thing. It's all about high-performance computing and how we bring high-performance computing to every market and to our everyday lives. And we do focus on three things to do that. It's really about our products and always focusing on great products. It's about our partners who really bring our technology to life through deep partnerships. And it's also about great technology. And for those of us in the technology industry, you guys know it's about making the right bets three to five years in advance and making sure that they come to fruition in actual product. So with that, just a little bit about 2019. If you take a look at our products, it really was a huge, huge year. If you look across all of these market segments, we introduced new seven nanometer products. Whether you're talking about the desktop market with the introduction of third generation Ryzen, or you're talking about the high end desktop and workstation market with Ryzen Threadripper, or introducing the new Radeon RDNA graphics technology that really brings gaming to the next level for our uh, graphics users, or you're talking about the data center and the tremendous amount of innovation in the cloud. And the fact is, with second generation Epic that we launched last year, we doubled the performance from generation to generation. You don't double performance very often. And that translates into a tremendous amount of capability for our customers in terms of overall total cost of ownership. So all of that together gives you an idea of what 2019 was. Now, products are nice and technology is nice, but really bringing that into systems is what brings technology to life. And we are so honored to be partnered with some of the most important brands in the industry. Whether you're talking about Microsoft with their Surface and Xbox lineup, or you're talking about Sony with their PlayStation lineup, or you're talking about the Apple Mac lineup, or you're talking about Google's data centers. All of these and many more are deeply partnered with us to create great technology and great systems. So I'd like you to hear directly from some of them as to what they do with AMD technology. So let's talk about our next console. The most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor this is the new Mac Pro. For a big upgrade in graphics performance, the Mac Pro can be configured with AMD's Radeon Pro Vega 2. This is, quite simply, the world's most powerful graphics card. This is Surface Laptop 3. The team has been working with AMD for quite some time to build you a custom experience. I'd like to introduce to you the AMD Ryzen Microsoft Surface Edition processor. We co-engineered this entire platform alongside AMD. It is incredible. I just couldn't stop thinking maybe there was a different path. Maybe there was a, a hardware that could be made where it would be more natural to make the games. Ultimately, it's all about having the best games on the platform. Our data centers actually process hundreds of millions of tweets on a daily basis. That's why we're so excited about the Epic processors we're able to get a 25% reduction in the TCO, or total cost of ownership. Stadia is built on infrastructure that no one else has. We've partnered with our friends at AMD to build a custom GPU. This architecture is the foundation for this new generation of gaming. Google operates data centers around the world. We have to optimize across many dimensions, and it's the reason why we chose Epic. And together, I'm confident that Google and AMD are going to continue to push, and I think that's going to be to the benefit of the entire industry. Wow. 
So what makes these products so amazing? It is really the underlying technology and the combination of technology choices that you have to make. And when you think about it, you know, for us, it's all about pushing the envelope. So it's investing in high-performance CPU cores with our Zen roadmap. It's about investing in high-performance GPU cores with our RDNA architecture. It's about putting them together in the smartest possible way using innovative technologies like triplet designs, which allow you to really mix and match the best that technology has to offer in a single package. And it's about using the best manufacturing technology that's available in the industry today, which is seven nanometer manufacturing technology. So if I just tell you what we've done with all of these, it's really about bringing a tremendous amount of innovation to market as fast as possible. And I'm happy to say, if you look at the combination of products that we've launched over the last year and will launch in 2020, you will see over 20 products in production or in development in seven nanometers. So that gives you an idea of just how much innovation we're putting into the high performance computing market. Now let's turn to 2020. So I said 2020 is gonna be a bigger year than 2019, and I mean 2020 is gonna be a bigger year. Now our theme for 2020 is all about the best, bringing the best to the market. And given this is a consumer electronics show, Today, we're gonna to focus on what does the best mean for a gamer or a creator, and ensuring that we give you an idea of what types of technologies we're bringing to market. So, you know, for gamers, it's all about higher performance CPUs and higher performance GPUs. So we have a couple of those for you today. Um, and for creators, it's really about bringing more capability and more productivity to all of these new workloads. And our idea is to enable new things to be created. So if you think about how much technology you needed to allow 4K and 5K to get out there, one of the big themes of this show is 8K. When does 8K become real? And how do you really have the ability to create the content for that? And you're gonna see some amazing technology for content creators today. So let's start 2020 with the laptop. Now, when you think about the laptop form factor, you can really say that there are over 180 million laptops that are sold every year. And when you think about that, there actually hasn't been a lot of improvement in the laptop form factor. Now, you know, we're in the mobile space, but you, you really have to say there's a lot of technology that you have to pack into the laptop form factor. And frankly, from our standpoint, we wanted to change this. And so in 2020, we will be introducing the best laptop processor ever built. And how do you do that? How do you do that? The way you do that is by incorporating the right technology elements. So it's about putting high performance Zen 2 CPU cores into the laptop form factor. It's about using seven nanometer technology, which is extremely beneficial from a power performance standpoint. And it's about doing really innovative design on the SOC front to ensure that we're as power efficient as possible so that you can fit into these small, thin, and compact devices. And when you combine all of these technologies together, they really enable disruptive performance. So I'm very happy to say that today at CES, we're gonna launch the third generation AMD Ryzen 4000 mobile processors. You know I love showing off chips. So this is the very first seven nanometer x86 mobile processor. And in this form factor that fits into ultra thin laptops, we have eight cores and 16 threads in a very, very, very powerful device. Now, let me tell you what I mean, thank you. Let me tell you what I mean when I say this is disruptive performance, okay? We always say that every generation looks better than the previous generation, but this is really special. And what you have here is actually the last five or six years of laptop performance, both from our competition as well as from ourselves. 
And this is looking at um, a typical processor that would go into a 15-watt um, ultra-thin design. And what you can see is that there have been improvements each year, um, incremental improvements, but you haven't seen that big performance leap, that big jump. And what we've done with the third-gen Ryzen and the Ryzen 4000 series is we've created just that jump. We wanted to be above the historical curve. We wanted to push the envelope. And that's the combination of all of the technologies that I talked about earlier. And what that means is you get a lot more capability in the hands of users when you're using the Ryzen 4000 series. And the way you should think about it is this goes across a number of different markets. So, you know, the ultra-thin laptop is perhaps the sexiest form factor when you think about laptop form factors. And we're always trying to make them smaller and thinner and lighter and uh, longer battery life. But we also have a very growing segment in the, um, the gaming and the creator segment where you want desktop-like performance in a mobile form factor. And you'll see that in our H-series um, products, as well as the very important commercial space. So at the end of the day, there are lots of businesses that need um, new notebooks. And what we want to ensure is that not only do they have the performance capability, but they also have the manageability and the security and all of those other features. So you will see Ryzen 4000 series over a number of different um, markets and form factors. Now, just a little bit about specs. When you look at the specs of the Ryzen 4000 series, uh, we'll start at the top of the stack for the ultra thins. So this is the Ryzen 7 4800U. And what you see is it has eight Zen 2 cores, 16 threads. It goes up to 4.2 gigahertz. It has eight Radeon cores. And when I spend a minute on the graphics cores, we've actually done a tremendous amount of optimization around these graphics cores. So they're based on our Vega architecture, but they actually have 59% more performance than the previous generation. And that's all the design optimization that's been done. And all of this fits in a 15-watt envelope. So that's an incredible amount of technology in 15 watts. And if you take a look at how we perform versus our competition, uh, what we're comparing against here is the competition's latest generation, 10th generation Ice Lake in 10 nanometer. So this is um, what they have in store right now. And what we show is the Ryzen 4000 series is higher on single-threaded performance. Higher on single-threaded performance. It is 90% higher on multi-threaded performance. And it is significantly higher on graphics performance. So when I say it's simply the best laptop processor that's been built, I think I've shown it in these numbers. Now, when you move over to the creator land, you know, think about this still 15 watt form factor. There are lots of productivity tasks that you want to do in this form factor. You can see that computing power really comes to life. So whether you're talking about video transcoding, video editing, other large compute tasks, what we're showing is greater than 25%, in some cases close to 50% more performance in these tasks. And what that means is you can get a lot more done in a lot less time. And that's really the focus of all of this technology innovation. Now, one of the important things, obviously, for the laptop market is battery life. And battery life is about an optimization of so many different things. And so I'm really pleased to say that in Ryzen 4000 series, we've really, really optimized the overall power efficiency of the device. And what you can see is more than double the power efficiency, so the performance per watt compared to our previous generation. And that's really coming from the seven nanometer process gains, as well as all of the work we've done in design and architecture. So again, what you can expect is leading performance with all day battery life with Ryzen 4000 series. Now, let's talk a little bit about systems. So there are going to be lots of systems in market with Ryzen 4000. But let me show you one of the first, which is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. 
All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So Lenovo this morning actually uh, launched their Yoga Slim 7. This is the world's thinnest and lightest eight-core laptop. It actually has the flagship Ryzen 7 4800U. It's less than 15 millimeters thick. It has a DDR4X, and it has a FreeSync 14-inch full HD display. So you can see it's really a beautiful form factor, but it's just an example, if you can imagine, eight cores and 16 threads in this type of device. OK, so it's all about systems, and it's all about putting this technology into action. I'm very happy to announce today that in the first quarter of 2020, you'll see over a dozen designs with our Ryzen 4000 series. And you can expect over 100 designs across ultra-thin gaming, as well as commercial, throughout 2020. So how does that sound for transforming the, the laptop market? <laughs> <laughs> 